Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. Amanda and Jeremy are down at Disneyland. You know, Amanda, she buys ears practically all the time. That's because her boyfriend works at Disneyland. And like if things get marked down, they have a uh, shop. And uh, so the employees get to buy stuff real cheap. Five bucks, you know, for like both. She doesn't buy ears like this. Okay, that's enough. Well, for me, that's it, uh, Captain America. That might be the only one I have. She likes to buy the ones that come on the, uh, just a bow, the bow type ears. Yeah, it's cute nonetheless. She gets them cheap, so five bucks. Well, it depends. Nice to have hookups for her. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Joker Ninja, 666, Clan Jexters, love your channel, Grooves, and The Weekend Show. One lovely dino t-shirt, great from Holland, Ninja Jedi Master. Hello, well, I don't know if you're talking about me, Ninja did, Jedi. Yeah, last week I had a Vsauce t-shirt, it's kind of nice to have t-shirts. This one, this is a uh, subscription box. Yeah, kind of expensive, 50 bucks for The Walking Dead. So, um, I like the shirt, looks pretty good. Came with a mug. The mug's black, but when you put hot water in it, man, the color changing technology has gotten really good to where when the cup gets hot, right, the black fades away. The image is just fantastic. Um, so, you know, I'll do that box for a while. We'll see. Uh, you know, I told you guys about the Hot Wheels subscription box. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Uh oh. Hey, uh, people always ask. What is a chase car? I accidentally closed too many windows. You know, Juan Luna, what, what's a chase car? Seriously, I get this all the time, especially with the last case unboxing video, right? This is just four times in the last video. Well, you know, chase cars, diecast companies, they come up with ways to try to excite people, to come up with, uh, you know, different things for you to search for. These cars, you know, collectors, Generally, I believe these to be shorter produced cars. They don't produce as many of these chase cars as they do the other cars. However, as I explained in that case unboxing video, uh, there is a lot of so-called chase. And you know what? Mattel doesn't call them chase. But internally on their sheets, they call them chase cars. And then some collectors have access to those sheets. And so they start spreading the news. Hey, chase cars. Hey, chase cars. There are three, four, four cases in a row that the same cars are showing up. They're not chase cars, all right? Treasure hunts, those are more limited, right? They're definitely not in every case. And if you get one, there's one per case. Super treasure hunts, really rare. Uh, green light, they have green machines. The cars will have like green on them. Johnny Lightning, they have white lightnings. So there'll be some kind of white feature with the car compared to the normal one. And those are a lot fewer produced than the regular runs of those cars. M2, they have ultra raw. They have, uh, sometimes they have other chase pieces. So a chase piece is a way for a manufacturer to kind of entice you, to or excite you to find something that supposedly lower production run, right? Which brings me to Friesen's Diecast Collection. He made a video and he called me out. Just, I'm just teasing. But uh, he said, you know, you guys are always talking about major ed chase pieces, and they're not chase pieces. And to be honest with you, well, you know, to an extent, he's right. Major ed cars are sold in the USA at Toys R Us. They're Toys R Us exclusives. This Audi A1, Series 1, this car right here, it was one per case. Some of the other cars, there would be three, four, seven, nine, nine samples of those cars, but only one of the A1. But as you can see... You know what? The car is not rare at all. They release that car all over the world. They have different packages, different countries, but this car is exactly the same. So that's his argument saying the car itself is not rare. And he's correct. But to be honest with you, what's rare is the Series 1 packaging. It says Series 1 down in the corner of the USA packaging. I don't know if I should call it rare, actually. It was one per case. So compared to the other cars, look, it's shorter produced. But, I mean, how many are produced? That's what determines if it's a chase or not. But in the USA, look, one per case. Maybe it's sold around the world, but in stores in the USA, it's just one per case. Of course, we can buy that car off the internet from any country. It's not like it's more expensive. By the way, you might find Series 2 at your Toys R Us. Three cars are short-packed, one per case from what we're finding out. 
These are the three cars. So if you like something that's short produced, these are kind of nice to find. Are they chase pieces? That's up to you to call them. With them only being one per case, I've only found two. And I just found my second one a couple weeks ago. It, you know, that has more to do with distribution. There's three series, right? Limited edition, racing, premium, three series. The Each Toy Story store doesn't necessarily get, you know, a good mix. It's distribution as well. You might not get all of the cars at one store. So that's kind of making it harder to find as well. And so he was talking about the majorette chase pieces. But chase pieces in general, I really don't tend to talk about them unless I need to. I mentioned in the Hot Wheels case unboxing videos because a lot more people watch those videos. But otherwise, when was the last time you've seen me make a standalone video just on a chase piece? Just on a treasure hunt? It's I don't want to focus on that. I don't want that to be my channel. I want it to be more about enjoying collecting the die casts. I talked about the <laughs> subscription. I got I got this one from a subscription. Now I did a unboxing. The Hot Wheels subscription box has arrived. And if you order it, the link's in the description below. If you order it before the 18th, they're gonna guarantee Christmas delivery. Pretty cool. You have all that. Well, let me just show you a big picture. You had all this stuff. I didn't really want to put my logo on the picture, but what happens, the thumbnail image winds up on Google and then other people can take my picture. So that's why I put my Race Grooves logo on the picture. I don't want other people swiping my pick and then they use it to help them sell their boxes. Use my referral code. I, I took the time to do the review. Uh, anyways, not only that, <laughs> I disabled embedding. You can't embed it on uh, other websites. Because then, same thing. They use my video and then they put their code. I'm doing the work here anyways. By the way, thank you for people who have purchased. I don't want to say how many. But thank you. Thank you very much. Although it's a little something, something before the holidays. David Houlihan, are the blocks compatible with Lego? Someone's going to ask sooner or later. I did an internet search and asked if the Hot Wheels Mega Constructs blocks are compatible with Lego. Pretty much the same size. But they're not perfect. Uh, you can search the internet for more information. That's what I gathered. I didn't take the time to go test it. People who collect them, people who play with bricks, they say, eh, yeah, they work, but eh, if you know what I mean. Manuel Guzman in the video, uh, you get a little coloring, you get a couple of pages to color, and I ask people what was the car, and Emmanuel Guzman was correct. It's GT Hunter. You definitely can tell it's GT Hunter. Because it has those things up on the fenders like this. Right away, I knew that was GT Hunter too. Kyle Rocks 10. Will we get the same cars or different colors other than that? Yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. Brand new car, new model, 2018 new model. I haven't even heard it before. You get sneak peeks from Mattel and all that. I hadn't even seen anything about it. So it's neat to see it first in the box. High Beam, 2018 new model. Very interesting design. I like it. It's a little writing high for the boosters, but we'll find out. You can pause this if you want to read what it says on the back. It's an F case car, so we probably won't see it in the USA for a couple months. There were a couple extra cars in the case, and they were older cars. K case, this is over half a year old. I got two of them though, same car, Aston Martin 177. I suspect that they get the cases, the K cases, right? And they just grab two cars, put it in, grab two, and they fill the box, right? Hopefully they pay more attention, and if they grab two of the same cars, they just put one and get something else. But I suspect High Beam will be the same car in that box that everybody gets. So it's kind of cool to get a new model before anybody else, right? And that's what they're going to do every other month. I have a new subscription box, and you get something brand new. Truck and Tuesday, <laughs> I, reviewed, I reviewed. Sorry for laughing. It was fun. This model right here, X-Train, yeah, you can hook them up, make a little train. Uh, that was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Michael Mathis told me about that, by the way. Michael Mathis, Mathis Jr., pretty sure that he told me. Thank you very much. I, put, I gave him a thanks in the comments or in the description. I forget. Allie, lucky me, he said the same thing. Amazing. I got to have these. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. By the way, at the end of that video, we get to recommend videos, right? I gave a, a, a link, 
to an unlisted video. People who watch the whole, people who watch it, or maybe they scan to the end, or however they found it. Yeah, I did a track set review, and they were able to watch it while it was unlisted. It got 500 views even before I published the video, all right? Now, I was starting to get nervous because I don't know if you know about YouTube. If you get, it's all about traction and acceleration and views and all this stuff. I was a little nervous that it was getting too many views, and then when I launched it, it's, it would be like dead on arrival, you know, uh, because it, the Truck and Tuesday got like 7,000 views, and the hidden video already had 500. It's like 8%, 7% of of the views, which is kind of cool. It tells you how many people actually watched the whole Truck and Tuesday, and then seen it, clicked on it, went over, and so that was pretty cool. What was that track set? Drop Force! And yeah, it had like three names, Velocity Vortex, uh, not V-Drop. Mm, I forget the other one. Anyway, so I, st I publish it, and thankfully you can tell it starts getting 100 views. And then after an hour, it's got 860 views. So I was thinking, fantastic, we're, we're looking good. And well, guess what? After 48 hours, it's getting 100, 150 views an hour. That's not very good. I mean, it might be good for a smaller channel, but for my channel, it's, it's a track set. Uh, that's not very good. Hopefully, hopefully it picks up, right? Maybe this is just the beginning. We'll find out. Julio Villarreal, tell the Hot Wheels company if you know where it is. Yeah, it's 30 minutes that way. If the track set was already released, why did you release two more? Because they call the same track set three different names. And I told them, it, it's not the first time, right? This one right here, it, it was called Starter Set, so it was in 2009. 2009 Starter Set. Well, then they turn around and release it later on. They called it Power Loop Raceway. And then now, if you find it in the stores, now it's called Power Shift Raceway. So that, that one's had three different names, too. Even some cars, sometimes Mattel cars call, call, will call, give a model a certain name. I had to change it. Give a model a certain name, and then later on they change the name. I don't know. I have nothing to do with that anyways. Umbria Lord, 7-Eleven. If I remember, Backtrack has a surfboard. So where's the board? Can you explain, please? The car that was included in that track set was Backdraft. And it didn't have a surfboard. And I told them that, you know, when they use models that have surfboards, like Backdraft, if they put it in a 5-pack, they won't use a, it's a... It could be a choking hazard. So they don't put it in the 5-pack with the surfboard. Track set, they don't put it in. If, that, if they use that model with the play set, they, they don't include the surfboard. Same thing with Diora 2. Diora 2, it was in the Despicable Me set. One of six cars. Diora 2 is definitely the favorite out of the set. More people want that than anybody else. Synchro is probably number two. Monster Dairy Delivery is kind of neat too. Slick Back is back. And the other two, Fish and Chipped. Fished and Chipped and Jester. Minion Beach decoration on the side of Diora 2. But let's take a look at the top side. And there's the surfboards. But guess what? They're molded into the body. Those are not individual surfboards. Those are molded with the plastic or metal. I, I think it's plastic. I don't know. Models with removable surfboards might not even be around anymore in the basics. I, I don't even remember the last time there's been one in the basics. Uh, Hulk Leong Chong, Two Serpent Cyclone. I don't know if he asked, he or she asked, or did I happen, he happened to see it in uh, one of my warehouse tours. Just kind of wound up being at the right time because Serpent Cyclone, there was a five pack. It did have the Euro 2. And see, look, no surfboards in that five pack or in that uh, version of the Diora 2. Coming up next, Target Red, you know, the 90 Acura is one of the three models that are exclusive to Target. And people are asking, hasn't that color been released before? Target's getting their red edition store exclusives again this year. There'll be 12 different models. And the 90 Acura NSX is, in fact, one of the first three. It's a very nice red color, and yes, it looks very, very similar. As a matter of fact, it looks like the same red paint, maybe a different uh, dye lot. But it was a new model in 2015, same red color. Back then, the segmenting got very confusing. I just focus on the cars, not the segment they put it in. You can tell they have different wheels. But the Target Edition gets a black stripe on the spoiler. 
However, it did not get the Hot Wheels logo license plate like the previous release did. Both of them do get the Acura logo on the front. Otherwise, very, very similar. Let's take a quick look at the other two, Volkswagen Kiefer Racer. Remember, they released them three at a time, so this is the first trio. The Ram 1500 rounds out the set with its Skyjacker decoration. I did a Matchbox case unboxing video, and Savage Master 1955 asked, Why does a brown Mustang not have a mirror on the passenger side? I let him know that back then, we were not required to have side mirrors on both sides, only the driver's side. Custom Hot Wheels by Mabelot. Hello, race crews. I've been looking at some action pack by Hot Wheels. Can you do some reviews? Well, let's just take a look at some right now. Ignacio Soler, dear race crews, remember those miniature micro Hot Wheels called the Hot Wheels Atomics? Mmm, maybe?
the Pigs channel. I found a new wave of NASCAR Authentics. By the way, there's two funny cars in the mix in case you want to check those out. Well, you know, I film in the stores. HW Road Beast asks, Sir, if you want to make videos in a store, is it for free? Or you should have a license? Or you should prevent the store before? Um, I can't give you legal advice. I only do what I do. And you have to figure out what you're going to do. You... I would suggest you ask the store, is it okay? You know, most of the time, as long as you're not up to trouble, probably not going to be any trouble. But one reason I stopped doing off the pegs years ago is because I got caught a few times and I decided that's enough, dude. Especially Toys R Us. Sorry, you can't film in the store. In the meantime, people are goofing around with the toys and all this stuff. Anyways, I, I can't give you, that's legal advice and I can't do it. I can only decide what I want to do for myself, okay? Matty Gaming Boy, can you even talk? The Off the Pegs channel, I show in-store video. I just put music over it in case there's, you know, in-store music. But the format of Off the Pegs, that's the format, just the video. Besides, if you want to hear me talk, I talk all the time on the weekend show on the race crew. So, yeah, come over here. Dale Jr. Fan 88, what's the background music? Speaking of music and the music I just use in the weekend show, I always put that information in the description below. Now, they started a new community. Now, I have the new feature for a community tab. And when you go to my main Race Grooves YouTube page, you got tabs for Race Grooves videos, playlists, channels, about. Well, there's a community tab, and we can post stuff there. It's nice because you get a lot of interaction, a lot, because, you know, I have half a million subscribers, so... You get a lot of interaction, even though I have the Race Grooves community. So, you know, there's thousands of fan collectors over there as well. You know, yeah, I don't get hundreds of thumbs up on my posts in the community on uh, Facebook, that's for sure. But the Cajun Gamer said the community tab's great because you don't need to make a video to tell us something. So I found the Target Red uh, at, in Target. Just post a picture and let people know. It's kind of just like what I do on Instagram when I can. Same with the Race Groups community. That's how you find out if new stuff's showing up, right? You just join communities. Yes, son, Junior. How many Hot Wheels do you got? And do you work for Hot Wheels? I have tens of thousands of cars. Mm, Hot Wheels. Tens of thousands of cars, including Hot Wheels. I do not work for Mattel. I do not work for Hot Wheels. I have had one sponsored deal this year. And then in the weekend show, they sent me a retro assortment. Uh, that's it for the whole year. I've made hundreds of videos and only two situations when I've worked with Mattel. Now, that being said, I know that Mattel spins, you know, the ads. Maybe you can comment below what kind of ads did you see uh, during the ad breaks. I know that Mattel, I wind up getting money from, uh, so a little bit of money from Mattel through the ads. But it's nothing like as if they sponsored me. Same with Toys R Us, you know. They wanted me to do some other stuff, but they wanted me to do it for free. It's like, well, I'm, no. But I know, I know, look, I screenshot, I screenshot an ad was playing on one of my videos. I was testing out uh, mid-rolls and stuff like that. Sure enough, Tonka Tinies, uh, that's a, this set right here is a Toys R Us exclusive. Let me see, Tonka Tinies Ultimate Play Pack available exclusively at Toys R Us. Toys R Us has one, Target has one that's just missing an accessory. It's the same thing. You just don't get the bonus items that you do at Toys R Us. So I know that I wind up getting some money from Toys R Us and Tonka and the other companies as well. But they're really just pennies per view. Whereas you can make a lot of money if they sponsor your video. Belfast Bus Fan. I'm sad as Toys R Us is closing in Northern Ireland because Smith's Toy Superstars are putting them out of business. But I suppose it means I could possibly get some Hot Wheels cases cheaper. You know what? Uh, I, I had heard this. I knew that the UK and in that area that a third of the stores were closing for Toys R Us. So in the USA, they're in bankruptcy. Over there, they're closing stores. I don't know if they're the same family. Probably are. But like Target here is not the same as Target in Australia or Walmart. I forget. So I lose track. I didn't even bring it up. But I hear you guys are hurting out there in Europe as well. Moki Music. It's funny because NPR is where you got the information from. When I posted that, Toys R Us is going to allow their, uh, the judge decided that the Toys R Us um, executives can get millions of dollars in bonuses if they hurt hit certain targets. So at least I'm glad that they put that in there. It's not like, yeah, take millions. You owe millions and millions of dollars to your creditors. 
Anyways, most people have no idea what the top dogs in NPR make a year. I have no problems with executives of large entities making lots of money. I have no problem with that as long as you're doing your job. Problem with Toys R Us, they're not doing their job. They're losing millions of dollars a year, but yet they still want their uh, million dollar bonus. They've lost over a billion dollars in five years. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, anyways, Mr. TC, he's watching an older video in 2017. Uh, I don't remember what the item was. Highly collect little. Oh, so he wants to know why does uh, why are international packages different from USA packages? Well, USA is pretty much English and maybe Spanish. I forget. But anyways, other countries, uh, they have laws and regulations in their regions. So that means Mattel has to try to comply with all these countries all over the place. And that's why a lot of stuff's on the international packages and a lot less is on USA packages. On that note, folks, I have my C-case. I have a C-case, right? Uh, C-case. USA long cards. I am going to be taking a break from doing the international packages. I'm going to be USA cases. I don't know for how long. I'm taking a break from the worldwide cases, all right? But I am still doing the unboxing videos. Just the USA cases. Ripping 10 in the race screws community. Tyler Coley asked me, is Ripping 10 still a thing? When I first started my channel, a long time ago, eight years ago, I don't know when I started Ripping 10. But, you know, with the mail-ins, you have to buy so many cars, and then you have to send in the card back, right? Oh, I have packages right here. It didn't even dawn on me. You have to send in the card backs to get, you know, the car, and you have to send money, and you get a car. Anyways, well, the Kmart mail-in is 20 cars. So I came up with ripping 10, so you can have fun with your cars. Um, you can either do a speed test to see how fast you can open up 10 packages, or you can do a ripping 10 collectibles talk about your collection why did you buy those cars or say something and back then we used to be able to have video responses to where you could post the link to your ripping 10 on my ripping 10 video well youtube stopped that because people were just spamming anything and I have a family friendly channel so i'm kind of glad because it meant less work for me but instead what i did is i have a ripping 10 playlist so if you want to do a ripping 10 I'll give you a link, and the link's in the description below. And if I have a chance to watch your video, and uh, no cussing, no bad language, look, if it's going to be in my playlist on my channel, you have to abide by my rules, okay? And if you do one nice video, and then all your other videos are a bunch of garbage, which is okay, it's your channel, I'm just saying, if it's in my playlist. Anyways, yes, I still do Ripping Tin, and I still have the playlist. If you're interested, just let me know. Robert Flores, ask Grace Cruz, are you going to do his Christmas special and Advent calendar? You know what? I'm not doing the Advent calendar. Just, I'm not going to buy it. I got enough stuff. Other people are doing Advent. I don't have to do it too. And if you don't know about Advent, it's a box. And there's numbers one through whatever. And on each day, you open a number for that. And you get a little thingy. There's other people doing it. I don't need to do the same thing. And I, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get around to a Christmas special. I don't know if I'm going to talk, I have my questions lined up. I don't know if this is coming up, but with YouTube. So now I started uh, Epic Track Battles. Well, you know, there's been problems with kids and family channels and people, people's channels disappearing and getting demonetized. Right now, YouTube's trying to clean up the space. Well, people who are starting new channels, when you hit 10,000 views, you can apply for monetization so you can get ad revenue on your videos. Well, now people are not getting authorized. Uh... YouTube has put a hold to it until they figure out this whole thing. There's people who started new channels and they get they have tens of thousands of views on their channels and they're not getting monetized, right? And I'm sitting there and I want to start Epic Track Battles and then I'm going to start growing this and then it's not going to get monetized. So I might put in some there, something there so it starts getting views, but I'm actually going to start doing stuff with the Track Time channel because that one's monetized. And I have a plan... I hinted at it last week, and it'll be showing up on the Track Time channel. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to have time for anything Christmas this year. We'll see. I don't know. Cars, nothing. No big projects. Maybe I'll get an old Christmas item or something. But Cars and Blaze, Unboxing King, Ray Screws. That's Ray Screws. What's your favorite Monster Jam trucks? 
My two are Chroma Frost, Crustration, and Mega Rex. I like Mega Rex. Fun dinosaurs. Everybody likes dinosaurs. You know, the Backdraft Fire Truck is uh, one of my favorite Monster Jam trucks. And Brandon Syme. I know a lot of people disagree, but a Spin Master doesn't mess up the trucks. I think 2019 trucks could be okay. And we're talking about Monster Jam again because I talked about it last week. People are, what's going to happen? I don't know. They haven't even come out with their stuff. Hang on. Um, great to see a sneak peek of what Spin Master toys and Monster Trucks will look like. Well, because they did Monster Truck toys before from the movie. They have the skills and abilities. The decision doesn't look final for Monster Jam yet. Sorry, I had to snip up out your name because I, I didn't double check to make sure it's a, a clean name. Sorry. Great go. Here's a thought thinking out of the box. What do you think about Spin Master buying not only the license for the Monster Jam trucks, but also buying the tooling from Mattel? And such, so that they look exactly like the Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks, but just putting the Spin Master name on it. Just a thought, since they're releasing new trucks this year, like Earthshaker and such, maybe we'll get the Wonder Man truck this year. That would be cool. I would I would like that. And finally, hopefully your house or warehouse isn't uh, in the area of the fires, are they? Yeah, lots of fires in California. I'm like a half hour away. You see all the fires in this map right here, up in the corner? I'm not even on that map. This down corner, Los Angeles, I'm like, I'm a half hour away from those fires. I'm okay. But as far as the tooling, getting them from Mattel, you know, eh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's talked about this, but some of the factories that make one brand of car from one manufacturer actually are the same factories that make the cars for other brands. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. You, but besides, you know, the trucks look like whatever they look like. They look so they don't even need to acquire the tools from Mattel because if you're going to make the truck, the truck looks like they can just make new tooling, have little modifications so it don't look exactly the same. Besides, Feld owns the trademark probably to the designs of his trucks, so I suspect they're going to look good. We'll find out. Howard Critchley, me and the wife. And our little son love watching your videos. We are from the UK. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I appreciate the family uh, watching. And have fun in the hobby. Jeff Iliopoulos. Hey, Mark. That was the UK, right? Guess what? Now we have Greece. Hey, Mark. Been a viewer of yours for four years. Maybe more. I appreciate what you're doing. You are truly an inspiration for all of us. Greetings from Greece. I'm glad I'm an inspiration. I want you to have fun with your toys. toys. Have fun collecting. And if you play, have fun playing with your toys. And I'm glad that with YouTube, my videos could be watched worldwide. 60% of my views come from outside of the U.S. Only 40% in the USA. That's why I have to be careful when I talk about things. I have to keep that in mind when I reference things. Because people outside the country might not understand what I'm talking about. Jonathan Doherty. i seen on the news the fires. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to match up the comments and get them together and group them. Yeah, I missed this one. Jonathan Doherty, uh, have I been called to evacuate? Half hour away. But you, but the problem is that the smoke in the air, right? So all those particulates. Oh, man, allergies. Until you can hear my voice. Well, it's always like this. But uh, I actually took the day off yesterday. And it might not be directly fire-related, but... Just allergies. It's uh, been a rough time. Michael Green. A quick look. Uh, he would like a quick look at my custom fleet size there, Mark. Any chance of a total look at all of them? I have two. One from 68 and one from uh, 35th anniversary. Still box. Got to be my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. Yeah, here you go. Boop. Sorry. I checked. I checked my jammers, and I don't have a custom fleet size. I do have a C-Sider, so uh, it's not the same thing. It's close, but I do have a few bags of red lines that I've been buying at the conventions, and I'm bad. I just I just get the back. I still have that bag sitting right there. Anyways, let's move on. Mr. Dan and Harry, can we still <laughs> review Gotta Go in Hot Seat, right? Well, because I talk about we have to be careful what we say because we don't want to flag trigger words and be demonetized or YouTube not want our videos to be shown, delete videos, all this stuff going on. Yeah, you can. Not only that, 
when they do get around to epic track battles, that'd be an interesting battle, wouldn't it be? Got to go versus Hot Seat. I'm just saying. Texas Prime Supreme, I love your vids. Would you ever consider continuing your inside story vids? And on the on the note about monetization, um, I'm just not interested. For one, one of my videos, it was one of the first, it was the first, I don't know if it was the first, got demonetized, ineligible for advertising. It was deemed uh, inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. So the video is still there. It's just that I can't get monetization. And that, that black sign that looks like a lightning bolt, it's really a dollar sign with a slash through it. Can't monetize it. And so... It's not like I make every video for money, but I don't want to make a video that's going to attract bad attention. Right now, not right now. This is not the time. Um, there's other people that do it. Uh, Os Wheels, that's A-U-S-W-H-E-E-L-S. Os Wheels, he does some. There's probably other people drilling them apart as well. I'm going to have to do myself here. Sorry. Twin Mill 53. Hmm, I wish Bone Weight Saker was in, in the accelerators. That can't be because... Bone Shaker was a 2006 first edition, and accelerators were done by then. Zing Yang Wong race crews, why so far? You didn't upload any track time. I just checked. Yeah, it's been over two months, maybe three months now. I gotta get a track time going. I'm working on these other channels. Uh, you know, this weekend show. I'm trying to get it done in so much time. It took once again, it took me two days to get a weekend show done. Snipped all the comments yesterday, this and that, came down here, put them in order, it took a long time. Anyways, for those, I look at my stats, I know how many hundreds of you guys stick around all the way to the end. Thank you for much, very much. Have a good week, and happy collecting, and have fun with your toys too, the toys. Bye-bye.